and Julio. <laughs> Not only that, it's, you know, get your mojo on. So that's why we named it what we did. Get your mojo on. Yeah, get your get mojo on with us while we're just doing what we do. Being real. Being real. Okay. Everybody wants to see what happens when good old Americans are cooking, things go wrong. <laughs> I've yeah. got to go in there. Okay. So this was two pounds of sausage, one pound of brats that I de- Paste and one pound of chorizo sausage and one large Vidalia onion. Um, I'm just simmering it and underneath here I put peppers. Um, they're sweet peppers. I got them from Sam's. Um, a lot of people have peppers in season right now and this is a really big steamer lid that I put a handle on or Mike put a handle on for me. And uh, I'm hoping that just pouring water over it I can keep enough steam in there that I'm going to get the peppers done and get them soft without them getting black on the bottom or dark? What's your thought? Well, I think that when it's all said and done. Oh boy, all gonna, said and done. They're gonna taste great. Okay. That's what it's about. This was two cups of uncooked rice that I just cooked in directions. It's gonna be a ton. It's gonna probably make too much. Uh, I was just guesstimating today. I'm not sure there's ever too much. I'm pretty sure there is. Okay, and all I'm doing is, over there. yeah, I'm going to put it in when I get this pot. Okay. No, it's just because I burnt my finger. Okay. Alright, I'm going to bring, what this was, was a large can of diced tomatoes that I ground up. Where's and this was some garden herbs, parsley right. and basil. Yep. What? Did parsley and basil. Okay. Garlic. Garlic. Matzo bowl. And once again, this is just all these pasta sauce. There's a reason for this too. If you have time to make all your own stuff, great. I'm do it. great. Do it. I love to do that a lot, but I don't have time to do it all the We're time. Busy. All of us have lives. We really do. So I don't want you to ever feel like what you're doing isn't good enough for anybody. Because if you're cooking and you're with your family and you're trying to do what you can, it's always good enough. So, always. always. So, all right, this is pretty close to having a coating of nice chorizo fat. Back again. And we're back again, I don't know, because it wants to be difficult today. Um, okay, I just put in the jar, uh, or, well, most of it, of the diced, or, the ground up tomatoes. See, now I'm all flustered. Ground tomatoes. Yep, mess me up in the middle of my thing here. And parsley and basil. Parsley and basil, yes, thank you. And, yeah. and what else? I've got matzo balls over there to put in here you yet, need something and I do like these an awful lot, even though they're the fresh ones. And underneath the tray here, I have the stuffed peppers that look like they're they're looking pretty good. Pretty good. I still wish they were a little bit more done here. I'm gonna turn this up there. Okay. Give a little. Well, this is the thing. I, I want them to get soft. If you want them to be crispy as peppers, but I never you remember can. peppers. You can. You can. I just never remember peppers tasting that good that weren't like the meat in them and everything was really yummy like in the oven or the crock pot or whatever so the kids always wanted to eat the meat and stuff in the inside but never wanted to eat the well, pepper well you had to eat the pepper and I had to eat the pepper and I'm telling you if I had to have it for breakfast the next day I was eating that damn pepper <laughs> That's <laughs> true. I know how that goes. True story. Okay, I turned off this side because I'm just going to steam the peppers just a little bit more. I'm going to try to get a picture of it here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I don't have the garlic in there yet because I don't want it to get too done. Alright, let's Careful, see. Careful, please. Woo! Am I in there? Yeah. Alright, good. Now you're up in there. Yeah, we'll see if it, I can get it back in place. Alright, it's just so bright. That's uh, the problem right there. This is so bright. Well, okay, so. Because it wasn't going to take this that long, and it's mixed in good. I'm going to see how these peppers are. I hope they're coming along. Hot, hot, hot. Mm. No, nope, they're still pretty firm. Okay, so okay. this is what I'm going to say to this. When making stuffed green peppers on the griddle, Colors, right? not green. 
special one making stuff green peppers and you just told me your color. Sweet peppers. Did I say sweet peppers or did no, I say green? You said green. Oh, we know you're going to. I was wrong. <laughs> Does I ever say it? It's on film, no. Okay, anyhow, uh, what I'm going to tell you. I just realized he had on his bunny slippers. <laughs> Why? Because I went upstairs in the attic and I saw the bunny outfit and I looked for my slippers in. <laughs> so I just got the bunny slippers and said, let's do it. Oh my God, that's funny. But anyhow, okay, so I don't know if these are going to get done enough. So this is what I was tr trying to remember to say. So if you're going to cook, these out on the griddle what I would suggest is right when you start your griddle put the peppers underneath here in the rack and start steaming them right away and when you're getting closer to where you want your pet peppers and uh, doneness then oh. yep this is just crazy how much is it slipping off today because we're cooking with crazy at Mojo's Crazy Kitchen so it's all crazy that's what happens crazy. Anyhow. anyway so what I'm doing is I have this shut off on this side totally and this is usually my hot side but i oh, it looks great though it does look good i ain't gonna say it that looks it does great it looks great it when does. i put the cheese and the garlic in there it'll be fabulous great. i'm gonna show you oh boy can you see can they you see? see that i think so oh yeah all right yeah i think right. so so ooh, it's windy anyhow right. so oh, gosh dang it you gotta give us some water in here to get more steam on. i don't know it's not going real fast. Like I said, I the peppers are going to take longer than I anticipated to start them right away in the beginning. And I should have thought about that because uh, when you, I like the way the green peppers cook in the oven. They cook they in the oven. Good. They smell they good. cook in the oven forever, you know, when they're nice and soft. Because I'm at the age now, if I don't want to eat all the green peppers, I'm not going to. She ain't got to. Because she's way up here on the totem pole. She's looking down. You know what I mean? Pong. Yeah and uh us big spoon so i can fill these and what big spoon oh god yeah Tom. yeah that is strong anyhow so what i'm just trying to do is wait and i'll stick these inside here if i can get these done at all should have started this a little sooner so unless you like your pepper really crispy and if you do but this is the thing <laughs> that you can't replace out here on the Blackstone with the stuffed pepper. The baked taste that goes in with it when the meat cooks in it all day. Because no matter what you do with the pepper putting it in here, the, the rice still hasn't had a chance to cook in that pepper yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up these peppers. You're you right in front of it. You want the green one or the green one? And um, I'm going to fill them up and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep them underneath here for a little while. So we'll be back in a bit. Alright, because I forgot to put the garlic in. Let's do that. Let's do that. Go ahead. Give me that container. Which one? This? That one. Yeah. There we go. Put that in there. I'll try to piece this together. We had a lot of trouble. We had a lot of camera trouble on this room. A lot. Technical difficulties. Right. Okay. Now, I'm also adding this is the fresh mozzarella balls. Oh, yeah. I love these. Here. Those are gonna be good. So got a little extra of the some. olive oil. Oh my god, I love them. It's got a great marinade on I it. I would add a couple more. She is the one who knows what the hell she's doing. There was a couple more in there. I ate three of them. You did? Yeah. How many did you eat? I had none. I didn't eat any. Well, that'd be your own fault. Usually, you usually do. I thought it looked a little light. <laughs> There's hardly any cheese in there. Oh my god, yes there is. We'll see how it turns out. Cup and a quarter probably cheese if you're using regular shredded cheese, if whatever. I just really like these matzo balls, so there you have it. Really? Yeah, I do. Yeah, to eat them before they... The I like them anyway. Anyway. I like them cold. I like them, I like them anyway. They're good matzo balls. That was part of the filming grocery. <laughs> yeah. Wow. There you go. Okay, it's on. All right. These things are really hot, and I don't. You, the reason you don't want to fill them over the top of the rack, what I'm figuring out is that it, the rice drops through, and then right you'll there. have a you'll have a mess. So, and I'm afraid if I leave them on the griddle too long, it's going to weaken up the bottom, and it's not going to hold the stuffing. But we'll see. We're going to see how it turns out. They're going to be good. I don't know. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. This is, what... this is what I was trying to show you here. 
Okay. Oh, you're gonna risk it. I'm going to risk it, I think. There we go. Am I in the picture? We got a portable set. <laughs> that looks good. No, no, it's not. No, okay. No, it's not. All right. There we go. Okay, right. so today it was cooking. The green peppers on the black stuff. Um, things I'd change. Start the peppers just maybe a little bit earlier. Um, it's not going to be the same earlier. meat that's cooked like when you do it in the oven and stuff, but if you just like kind of more of the taste of the peppers, you've got it. Um, also, let's see, what was I going to say? That's a good way to get rid of some peppers, even if you're camping or you're out griddling or whatever. So I'm going to take these off the gr uh, griddle. I'm going to, you hold that yeah. I'm going to um, plate them up for you inside. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. They're hard to maneuver just like hard, uh, stuffed peppers are. They're hard to maneuver. No matter what. Okay, now you can hold it. No, I can. Now you can give her. No, I can. I got it. Alright. And what was the reason for putting the tops on them? What I was just, it? I just thought maybe it looked pretty later. Oh, yeah. So. Always thinking. So, that's it. So, maybe I'll put them in the picture. Maybe I won't. You'll see later on when we go in. Just let it run because it'll run out of memory here any minute. Anyway. Thanks for watching okay. www.mojoscrazykitchen.com. Peace. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe. Thanks. Have a great week. Yeah. Okay, Mike trying the pepper. It's got to be hot. Mm. Mm. The chorizo with the bra is so good and the melted moths in it and the ba and the parsley um, and everything that it is in with the sauce and everything it's just really good homemade rolls stuffed green peppers on the blackstone